Hello everyone. Today we're back in Juneau, Alaska. So what else is there to do in Juneau after you have visited the Mendenhall Glacier and the McCulley Salmon Hatchery? Well, one very nice thing to do is to take the tram up to Mount Roberts. The tram is located within walking distance of where the ships are docked. There you can see a ship in the background. You can buy a ticket separately. It's around $34 for an adult and $17 for a child, but we had a voucher from our cruise ship since we bought a tour package to see the Mendenhall Glacier and the Mount Roberts Tram. This was our second trip to Juneau. Last week we visited the Macaulay Salmon Hatchery after the Mendenhall Glacier, but this time we wanted to take the tram up to Mount Roberts. And here is the ticket. Oh, and they stamped our wrists too. Can't be too careful, I guess. The blue bracelet is from the visit to Mendenhall Glacier. Here we are waiting in line for the tram to come. There are two trams. One is usually going up while the other one is coming down. The tram is standing room only and there are straps to hold on to, but it's really a very smooth ride and here we go. It really is a short ride around five minutes and before we knew it, it was over. The tram takes you up 1800 feet and once the tram was docked, I was able to look down and get a better view. You can see a couple of cruise ships docked down below and the beauty of this part of Alaska. Once we got off the tram, a new load of passengers got on, ready to make their way down. From the tram, we walked across a covered bridge. They call it the Sky Bridge and into the mountain house or in native language, the Shah Hit Complex. We walked into the mountain house and found lots of information about Alaska and native life in Alaska, as well as native art and items made by the locals and a gift shop, of course. As we made our way downstairs, we saw there is a restaurant called the Timberline Bar and Grill, which had a menu of Alaskan seafood, some local beers, homemade desserts, and some great views to look at. There was also a theater with an 18 minute film about the Tlingit way of life. The film is called Seeing Daylight. We decided to explore the outside area and do some hiking around the trails. So we went back outside. But before we started out on the trails, we saw a small crowd gathered around. So we went over to look. It was an observation deck and on the observation deck were a couple of wood carvers working on some totem poles. We had seen this in Ketchikan. It is slow work, interesting to watch. We found a sign pointing us back to town, which is a two and a half mile hike. And we also found a display of wood carving art on a tree. I don't know if the jacket is part of the display or if this is a work in progress. Here is a part of a tree and an Alaskan timeline to go with it. This small cabin houses the Mount Roberts Nature Center and inside you will find lots of information about nature. Behind the nature center is another small area housing an eagle. And then finally we were off on a hike of Mount Roberts. Follow me as we hike through the rainforest. And see some more native tree carvings. jumping off Mount Roberts. Well, not really jumping. They call it parasailing. And the views here are just incredible. It was starting to get late. So we headed back to the tram, back down, back to the ship. 
all told, it was a beautiful day in Juneau, Alaska.